Think City and City Foundation, I mean, we have a great partnership between the two of us. And the whole idea is to transform neglected, dilapidated laneways in the heart of Kuala Lumpur into vibrant community spaces with opportunities for healthy living. Our focus in community engagement is aligned to our global mission of enabling progress and economic growth. The effort towards the repurposing historic Kuala Lumpur has gained momentum with the Laneway Improvement Program. The pathway for this particular initiative is part of a larger initiative that now we are working together with DBKL to repurpose the historic Kuala Lumpur to become the Kuala Lumpur's Creative and Cultural District. So it is in this context that we were fortunate to be able to get the support of City Foundation to reinvigorate and bring a new energy to this space. The Laneway Improvement Programme is something we started in Georgetown 7-8 years ago. So one is definitely looking at how do we rejuvenate or activate downtown uh, Kuala Lumpur through uh, Creative and Culture District. And we work hand-in-hand -hand with DBKL and together with DBKL as a team, we go down and engage with the community and put everything together. We work closely with various partners including NGOs and we also work with various subject matter experts and we also work uh, in terms of enable community participation and that includes uh, city volunteers that participated in some of the laneway programs. We make sure that we as the main coordinator for City Foundation Grant able to stitch all this together to deliver the most impact. Out of the 13 projects, you can briefly put them into three buckets, uh, beautification works, social inclusion, space activation. Uh, beautification works, I mean, that is the most straightforward, most tangible, you can hold, you can touch, you can feel it. This project was a series of installations called Urban Playground, and basically it's our take on how urban furniture could take form in a otherwise very derelict back lane. We are currently at Lorong Hang Le Kiu, a hawker food haven for locals and especially office workers. Part of the laneway improvement program is actually to improve the food safety as well as beautify the laneway. The idea behind it is inspired by the vendors around here. I mean, because actually they are the ones who is from here from day to night. So I want to like dedicate the wall to them. We want to add more plants because we want to make it more vibrant and lively for the people to come because this laneway has been used by many people. It is so important in urban cities like this to have plants and vegetation. It certainly helps with the cooling, but also I think it helps with people's well-being. With just that physical work, I think that's not enough. So there's another uh, component that we look at. Uh, part of the program is actually space activation. How community participation, because that will inform the physical realm of things. It's essentially an event that we organize to showcase how spaces can be reimagined and to also kind of tie in with the historic aspect of the space. We basically encourage and empower women to take up martial arts for their self-defense, personal safety and also to lead a healthy lifestyle. I like it that we had the opportunity to teach all the women at the laneway uh, to reenact the real situation. Backlane Cinema is essentially a pop-up cinema. We take the cinema experience from indoors to outdoors, do like a Wayang Pachat style in between the lorongs of the city. The third bucket is actually looking at uh, social inclusion because you can't talk about urbanisation or any of this programme without people. Community Connect is a different type of programme. It is one that focuses on helping people to exit homelessness in the place where they usually sleep. Community Connect is just pretty much cleaning this area so that it instills pride back into the street people, like this is where I sleep. But then when they clean, the local businesses will see there could be an opportunity that arises that mutually benefits them. My collaboration work with the Sting City to encourage these people to have a medical checkup, they must look after the health. Not only we just work hard, but and then we don't look after our health, we can earn money. The food safety program is part of the laneway improvement program, which involves the food hawkers in terms of giving them awareness, some basic trainings about 
health, hygiene. These hawkers have been here for so long and their customers have been here for so long as well. While they enjoy the food here, we must make sure that the food that is served is clean and safe for everyone. So the laneway improvement program is not the mean to an end. It's more than just about the laneways. It's actually about how to use this as a placemaking tool to activate spaces and also as a platform to bring communities together. The support from City Foundation has been tremendous, uh, both in terms of material as well as their time and effort. Today, the program has now scaled to become part of the Kuala Lumpur Cultural Creative District. We hope that support will continue into the future, whereby we can realise the dream of making this a wonderful space for all. So we would like to thank uh, Think City and also City Foundation and for giving us the opportunity. It was something that we have always wanted to do. For supporting us in this project. Uh, to beautify the place and make this laneway a, a happier and safer place. We're really, really thankful for all these organizations, collectives. Um, it's great to be involved and, and we're very proud of it. Uh, we hope that more women feel safer walking at the laneway in Kuala Lumpur.